What's happening, my All-Stars? This is Brian over at BPL Sports Cards and Collectibles coming back to you with another brand new video. Today, guys, we're going to talk about 11 second-year sophomore players for the NBA who should have a pretty good season coming up and be impactful on their teams. Uh, just going to go over a handful of what I've got. There are some honorable mentions that I don't have any cards of. Speaking of the number one overall pick, Zion Williamson, I don't have any of his cards. Wasn't fortunate enough to actually get my hands on any of this past year. But uh, we're going to get into some of the other players in this 1920 draft dress that uh, have a, a big upside this year. Um, starting off with Darius Garland for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, he has a chance to now kind of... Um, shine more for the team um, with Kevin Porter Jr. having some uh, on or off court uh, um, legal troubles. We don't know what that's going to lead to. Um, so uh, he should play well next to Colin Sexton. Um, these are just some of the rookie cards I have of Darius uh, Garland, uh, the Mosaic NBA debut, uh, NBA Hoops rookie. And some of the Chronicles, we have uh, Playbook, Panini, and this is, I believe, just um, the Base Illusions. Yep, Base Illusions. Um, he should he should do well. He didn't, um, some of these guys didn't get a chance to play in the bubble this past year, um, or this past offseason. So they didn't have a lot of uh, showing of uh, their skills and talent. Um, next guy up, PJ Washington Jr. for the um, Charlotte Hornets. Uh, with the recent news of Gordon Hayward signing with them guys, and he just recently had an injury to his hand, so he'll be out for a little while. I can see PJ stepping in and showcasing his talents in that team for the beginning of the season. Um, you you want to try to get some of his rookie cards for, uh, you know, just to see. He's got a lot of potential, but uh, didn't get to showcase it like a lot of other rookies last year being a shortened season for them guys, and they didn't play in the bubble as well. So um, you got your Don Ross rated rookie, some Chronicles, you have Threads, Playbook, and Panini. Uh, has... PJ has a lot of uh, a lot of work caught out for him. I could see him uh, making a strong push for the starting unit for those guys. Um, it should be an interesting season this this year, uh, beginning this uh, next coming week in December. Uh, our next guy we want to talk about is Cameron Johnson. Uh, this guy has a lot of upside. This guy has a lot of uh, excitement going around him um, with the way um, Phoenix played in last year's. Um, kind of like pre-playoffs before the bubble started. Um, the, the, we all know that the Suns went, uh, was it 8 or 9-0, and oh, and went crazy inside the bubble just to not be able to even make the playoffs. Um, with Chris Paul now being added to that, I see Cameron Johnson's game just kind of really being accent, uh, accented by Chris Paul, as is uh, Devin Booker. Um, they have a young, exciting team. I think they're going to make, they might actually make the playoffs this year, I would assume. I'm going to probably not put them any higher than the 8th or 7th seed in the West, but because the Western Conference is like stacked full, full of good teams. So uh, with him, rookie cards, I have his NBA Hoops rookie. Uh, we have some Chronicles of the Prestige and a couple of Threads. And uh, sometimes you can get the variation Bronze. Or colored ones, and this is a Don Ross Great Expectations insert. But uh, leading back to that, the Suns should be impressive this year or turn some heads in the Western Conference. Another team that is looking to have a bounce back year is Golden State and Eric Paschel. Uh, he, like some of the other um, teams, didn't get a chance to uh, play very much this past year. I only have a three of his cards are three of his rookies. I got two of the playoff um, or playbook from Chronicles uh, when I did get Chronicles. And I do have a NBA hoops base rookie card of Eric Peschel. 
Um, with Clay Thompson being down for the year with his injury, I can see Steph Curry having a very big season, and I see um, Eric Paschal grabbing more minutes. Um, they'll probably have to shift a bunch of people around. You'll have Andrew Wiggins and uh, Draymond Green still heading the, the starting five. Uh, Paschal could make a strong case for himself this year and showcase his talents. The next two guys up are in a up-and-coming Atlanta Hawks team um, that drafted high last year. They were able to get two of these guys. Um, the next two are going to be DeAndre Hunter, and uh, he is a, uh, a, I believe, a power forward. So what's he? Uh, let's see here. Forward. It doesn't say if he's a power forward or a small forward, but he uh, he brings a defensive toughness to the the Hawks. And uh, I'm not so worried about his scoring. He's got Trey Young and um, John Collins down there on the block with him as well. But uh, DeAndre Hunter, you got uh, the Chronicles of Recon. This is not. Uh, it's just a foil based one. Uh, his Don Ross rated rookie. Chronicles Threads, Chronicles Luminance, which I found to be pretty interesting. That had a lot of really good photography for any and all Luminance cards in this set. And the Chronicles Marquees, and that's just a base one. It's not the bronze or anything. But, uh, yeah, you want to try to get as many. Uh, this, DeAndre and um, Eric Cameron Johnson start to see a little bit of a rise in, in his value. But a lot of these guys you can get still on the relative cheap side. Uh, Garland can probably be found cheap as well. Um, the second guy out of Atlanta is Cam Reddish. He was the uh, higher pick for them guys. Um, we have Hoops and the Don Ross rated Rodiki. We also have the Chronicles uh, Classics. And that's just the base one as well. Uh, we have Chronicles Essentials which I thought could have been a standalone set this year, but they threw it into Chronicles, which is not bad. And we do have a variation. We have the green uh, luminance from Chronicles this year too. Um, anytime you get like a color variation, it usually brings up value for the players. But uh, Reddish should um, should have a, a more, more of a storied role in the Atlanta Hawks team this year. Um, I can't imagine how they, I mean, now that they have Rondo, he can learn from him um, and probably up his games in, in the process. He'll be a, probably a bench player, I'd imagine, out of uh, Atlanta. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with him. Uh, next guy up, Chicago. I only have two of his cards, but Kobe White. Uh, showed some very good flashes this past season in a rookie campaign, playing alongside Zach Levine. Um, they, have, they have a new coaching staff. They have... Um, they got a lot of things going for them. I think a lot of some of those guys they got uh, hurt in 18, 19, and uh, now coming into their own, they're healthy. They'll have a stronger uh, presence in the Eastern Conference. I still don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. They could be a low round or low seeded team, probably you know seventh or eighth. But uh, Kobe White, his cards uh, exploded onto the scene when he uh, he started picking up a ton of minutes and playing very very well for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, again, I only have two of his cards. Not much to show for there. Uh, the next guy up in New York is uh, R.J. Barrett. Uh, this guy has an entire team to run by himself now. Um, I don't know of very many extra pieces they got to go along with him, but um, he's going to have a full season to play, um, showcase his talents. I would assume he's the future point guard for those guys up there in New York. Um, got his Chronicles Phoenix card, rookie. And it's not numbered. That's just the base. We have his Luminance Chronicles. Uh, Chronicles of Prestige. Then we have a, and a Classics for from the uh, Chronicles set as well. All I could get was Chronicles uh, in long lines of, of RJ's cards. Um, I suppose I probably could get a lot of... I won't even try to get his Prison cards or his Optic cards because I know they're through the roof, but... Um, Get these low end Chronicles cards, guys. They're they're not they're and if you can find them, I know they were the hottest thing in the world when they first came out, and uh, they're harder than all get out to get now off of any type of retail store shelf. As we all know in the hobby, it's been quite uh, crazy for picking up anything retail. Uh, 
Next guy up is Rui Hachimura from the Washington Wizards. Uh, Rui now has a new running mate. Um, he no longer has John Wally as Russell Westbrook running the helm. Alongside him, he'll have uh, Bradley Beal. And they look like they could be an exciting team this year. I, I think uh, they'll make some noise in the East. Um, get his stuff cheap as well before the season starts, guys, because uh, he's got a lot of potential and upside as well. I wouldn't be surprised if they can make the middle of the conference, you know, uh, breakthrough, you know, five, six seed, maybe even the seventh seed. Who knows? There's a lot of teams. It, it, every season is different. So uh, we have uh, the Chronicles Panini rookie card along with the uh, Chronicles Prestige and Threads. We also have Illusions. Not a bad rookie card. Uh, playbook from Chronicles. And some of the highly anticipated uh, Mosaic. Mosaic True Rookie. And the NBA Debut Rookie. These are not silvers. They are just the base cards. Um, if I could get my hands on more Mosaic Rookies, I would. Um, I think I picked a couple of these up off of uh, eBay uh, early, early on in the pandemic. Um, so they weren't as expensive, um, probably under a couple of bucks. And um, I wouldn't be surprised you could get them still cheap. But uh, getting them graded is a whole other story. So uh, last couple guys we're going to get into is the um, one of the guys from the Memphis Grizzlies, Brandon Clark, um, who stepped in. And got more minutes when um, Jaron Jackson Jr. went down with his leg injury last year. Um, it's looking more like Jaron Jackson will be able to start the season. But um, Brandon Clark made a good contribution for the team um, towards the end of the year and trying to get into the bubble. Um, not quite sure if he played any, anything in the bubble, but uh, you know, getting his cards is, like I said, on the lower end, cheap but um, high upside. We have uh, the Classics XR, or no, Chronicles XR uh, rookie card. We have the score from Chronicles, playbook from Chronicles. As you can tell, a lot of Chronicles cards, um, they produced quite a bit of rookie cards. I guess you got Prestige there and Luminance. I was able to get a Prism Emergent rookie card. Uh, back to the Chronicles Threads and Panini. And I also was able to get a NBA debut mosaic of Brandon Clark. Um, I could see the mosaic stuff holding up even after Prism has been released. Um, it's going to be a crazy, crazy set when it does get released. And uh, I can't see why it wouldn't do any, any, any just as good as Prism. Uh, last guy up on this video, guys, I want to say thanks for sticking around and checking out the cards I am suggesting you guys get into and pick up before the NBA season starts for this year. Um, do me a favor and hit the like button and leave a comment down below, guys. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. All right, guys, last one. We're going to get into the rookie of the year, and we all know who that is, and this is Ja Morant. Um, this guy is going to be a baller for years to come, and he's going to head the Memphis Grizzlies probably right back into the playoffs. I, I can't see how them not having a strong season. Um, Triple J, Brandon Clark, like we just mentioned, John Morant. Uh, you got Jay Crowder over there as a veteran. You got a lot of a lot of pieces in there that are going to be very well uh, put together for. They're going to make a running in the Western Conference, I think, for the next few years as long as everybody stays healthy. Uh, we have uh, the 19, or no, this is 2020 uh, Contenders Draft Picks, second-year card, John Morant. It's got the college unison, uh, uniform on. We do have some Chronicles. We have the Base Prestige, and we do have the Bronze Prestige Parallel. Uh, we have Essentials from Chronicles. It, like I said, Chronicles, they sh the, the essentials and stuff like that should be like its own set. It's just really well put together. And last, uh, the Panini Illusions rookie card for John Morant and that throwback jersey. You gotta love the throwback jerseys. New ones look nice, but this is what I remember seeing when the team first came out. So it's nice to have a throwback jersey. I have, uh, I have a couple of uh, the essentials 
uh, one online right now on eBay, on the eBay account, and I'm holding on to the other one just to see how the current Rookie of the Year plays out this year. But uh, I was able to get mostly some Chronicles, and uh, when I could find Illusions, I managed to pull an Illusions Rookie card. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my 11 second year sophomore class. Uh, cards and what you should be looking for and trying to get your hands on before the NBA season starts. I want to say thanks for watching and check in next time, guys. Peace.